we'll go ahead and get started. But today we're going to be using the collection Bunny Trail by Becky Fleck. And I absolutely love this. I love all the pastels. Um, the plaid has got to be my favorite. The jelly beans are just too stinking cute. And then you have the little duckies on here. Let me see if I can hold this up a little bit so y'all can see it a little bit better. Are those ducks not precious? I'm telling you. Okay, so in this collection, you get 12 sheets of 12 by 12 double sided designer card stock, and you get one sheet of 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Okay, now I have already started using some of this, and I want to show you something that I made. Um, so I have these kids that I teach CCD to at our church, and for Easter, I decided to make them something like this. So um, this is the first box that I've made. So I started this um, early this morning, and I really like how it turned out. But is this paper collection not too cute? I'm telling you. So this was really super easy. This was a die that I got off Amazon. They have dozens and dozens of um, companies that create um, any type of little dies you want to try to find, okay? Now, um, the sticker collection um, is just adorable. I love the bunnies and the ducks. The little chicks here are just adorable. And as you can see, I've already used some of this on here. I did actually do a 12 by 12 layout with this collection for um, CHA. So let me just put that to the side and we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to start off with the spring flowers page. Okay, so I'm just going to trim off this little bottom piece here. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Debbie. And again, I apologize if I miss any of your questions because for some odd reason I can't see you all on my phone and that is just bizarre. Anyway, I have no idea why. So we're going to start off with this one and this one's going to be 12 by 12. Now I will tell you what, um, I do like backing this up on very thin chipboard just for stability. You don't have to do that, um, but I just like to. That's just my, my little decision here. Um, and then, of course, I love the little Easter egg paper, and I've already pre-cut this just to make our um, live show run a little bit smoother. This is eight inches by um, eight and five eighths, okay? And I am not going to color my edges. I want them to stay the white color, all right? And I think I'm just going to off-center this a little bit. And what I love about these polka dots is is that it has, um, they're all very uniform. So I can actually use this to make sure I'm laying this on here straight, which is very nice. Now this is one of my tricks I like to do. I like to go ahead and place my paper down and then glue it. I know that sounds really strange, but that's just kind of how I like to roll. And that way I don't mess it up, okay? So I don't know if you want to use that extra little trick, but that's what I like to do. And I'm just going to burnish this in a little bit. And normally I don't press down or glue down all my sides yet, but I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. I'm actually mimicking one of the layouts I made for CHA, but it was with a different collection but I really like how the layout looked, so I'm going to try it with this one. Okay, I did it with Belle Fleur. So, and I wish I had something to show you, but they still have my, uh, my layouts. Hi, Monica. Hi, Catherine. Monica, can you believe we got hail here today? That's just insane. Okay, let me wipe off any excess glue. I'm going to turn this back around. Now, for my next piece, I kind of want to offset this one a little bit. And I basically use the back side of my egg paper so that I'm not wasting any paper. I want to keep it all on here. This one is going to be four inches by 10. All right. And if you want to make a little tail at the end, you can do that. I'm not doing that on this particular design today because I'm pretty much going to use the bottom of this. 
And I just want a little bit of this side to peek through. Again, I'm going to use my polka dots as my line here. And this one, I will lift it up. Kind of have an idea of where I want this. I had to reset my internet and everything. So this storm really uh, kind of went a little crazy over here. Just got a lot going on. So again, I'm going to use my lines down here at the bottom. Make sure I'm positioning this straight. And then I'm going to start burnishing it in. Okay. And then I went ahead and trimmed down this photo. This was a four by six. And I trimmed it down. Now, you don't have to do this. You may want your whole entire photo um, on here, but it was just trees. I mean, with, I figured I would just cut that out. So this is basically three and seven eighths by um, three and seven eighths, okay? And then for the piece of paper that I want behind it, I thought these carrots were just too cute. And this one is going to be four and three eighths by four and a half. I want it a little bit longer. And again, I'm not going to glue this one down yet because I want to make sure this is where I want everything, okay? So I'm thinking I'm going to line it up against here. There we go. Hi, Patricia. I'm so glad you could join in too. And then I'm gonna center this. Now I'm just kind of guesstimating where I want everything to go right now. Um, I really like this little rick rack. I thought this was kind of cute. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of this. Now where am I? Oh, there they are. I'm like, where did my scissors go? I don't know if I'm gonna run this all the way through. I'm thinking I will. I go ahead and cut it off right about there. The one thing I love about art glitter glue is that you can use it on fabric and i'm actually going to do this over here because i don't want a whole bunch of glue hanging down on my paper okay so i'm just going to put a little bit i'm going to have to work quickly and this one i can go ahead and glue down because i have these two main pieces already glued I'm just going to add that on there. Okay. And press it down. I may have to use a little bit more glue. I tell you, it does dry quickly. You turn this a little bit, make sure I get this end down. Okay. All right, so I kind of have an idea that this is where I want this. I like that. And I might even continue with a little bit of this over here. This time, I'm just going to go ahead and put my, I'm going to make a little line here. And then whatever I miss, I'll add it underneath. Yes, I turn my paper a lot. I sure do. Press that down. Hold on, let me scroll this down a little bit, see if I've missed any questions. Your cars were smashed into this morning? And they stole your jackets and your coach, but left a coach bag. Well, that's just insane. This was in your own house, your own house, your driveway? That's insane. Okay. I'm going to put that there. I was thinking, should I carry it a little bit more out a little bit? Maybe we'll see. We'll see. And then I now this is from the 
three by four cut aparts. What I did was, is I went ahead and fussy cut out this little basket because I thought this would be super, oh, see, I'm gonna have to move this up. So it's a good thing I didn't do that yet. So what I was thinking was, is if I cut this little bunny out, I could have him kind of peeking out behind the eggs. That was my thought on that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna leave a little bit undone right now. Okay. And go ahead and place my basket, center that. Okay. And then I'm gonna put my little bunny underneath here. These cut aparts are just too cute too. I'm telling you. All right. So I'm gonna have him peeking out. I'm almost debating whether I should have done that. Hold on. Hold them up, guys. Hold them up. Yep, I might be able to do that. Okay, I'm not going to press the little bunny ears down just yet. Let me go ahead and put this down. I'm going to have to commit, guys. I'm committing to the spot. Okay. So I'm just going to offset that a little bit. Move it out, make sure I'm doing it straight. Burnish that in. Okay. Let me see where he's coming. Right about there. That looks good. Okay. Sometimes I surprise myself. Go ahead and add this on the back. All right. I'm going to center him. Kids are so cute when they're little. This this guy right here is about 5'8 right now. He's a giant. Let me tell you. They grow so fast. Now I can burnish my little ears in. And a little bit dried up, so I'm going to press it down. There we go. And then now I can go ahead and add my glue to the back of my basket. Hopefully, I'm really putting glue down because <laughs> I, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just guessing. And then we're going to press that down. Wipe off any excess glue and get my little leaves down. Okay, I think it's turning out so cute. Let me tell you, I just love Easter. Um, let's see here. I really love this Love My Peeps, but I don't want to add a, another green element at the top. So I think what I'm going to do is put, let me see. I could do the Easter, but I'm thinking I'm gonna do maybe jelly beans or spring flowers. Maybe spring flowers. So I'm gonna put that banner up here. And then for my card that I'm gonna use, I could use Happy Easter or the hunt, no, that, that's too matchy-matchy. I think this is the one that's gonna do. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna commit to that. I really like how they have a really good selection of different colored elements in this so that I really can do a lot of layering that I like to do without having everything just be too blended in. So that makes it really nice. And then I'm gonna get out my little string here. What I wanna do is I wanna put it, this little spring 
and I kind of want to have it going around. So I think what I'm going to do is tie my little knot here for my little bow. Oops. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> Okay, tighten that up a little bit, and let me trim my end here real fast. Okay, then I'm going to make another little bow real fast. I'm approximately going to make it the same size, I'm hoping anyway. Oh. Okay, that looks about right. I'm going to trim this bottom here. And I'm going to need to make some more thread. I just don't think that's enough. Grab this real fast. I'm going to make it a little bit long, and whatever I don't need, I'm just going to cut off at the end. But I want to get it into place and kind of guess where I'm going to need this. So, the first thing I'm going to do is move this off to the side real fast. And I'm going to put my spring on here. This way, I know. I know what's up. Because I could guesstimate all day long, and that's really not going to help me. I always like to use a little bit of glue. Just keep that on there. Let me see if I'm asking any questions. Hi, Terry. Hi, Linda. Yeah, spring. I'm going to keep these fairly close together. And it's gone. Okay. How many of y'all think that making layouts is relaxing. I actually think it is. I don't know why, I just do. But when I'm making mini albums, uh, that's not very relaxing <laughs> because I'm always trying to think of what to do next. And, you know, layouts are fairly easy for me. But they weren't always, I will tell you that. Okay, so I'm going to move that out of the way. And I'm going to gently lift this up. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. Okay. And then I'm just going to put that in there like that. And now I can press it down and trim off my little ends. Might even need to trim that up a little bit more. Yep. Yeah. You don't even really need the excess. And then I'm going to put a big dollop of glue here, okay? And I'm just going to let it dry itself on there. Oh, there's my other one. I'm like, where did it go? Okay. And thank goodness this glue dries clear, so I don't have to worry about it. So that's looking cute so far. And so now the rest is just putting on all these fun little elements. You could do your little chick, and that's pretty cute. I'm thinking, I don't know, I might put that up there. Oh yeah, that'll look cute there. 
And then, of course, we have our little jelly beans. So I might just put some of these in here. Just kind of random. I'm going to make sure I don't use any green ones just because we've already got green going on in the paper. Put that one there. Just going to kind of randomly put them all over. Maybe one about there. Let me see. Oops. And we've got a blue one. I think that's almost it for the jelly beans. I'm going to use maybe that one down there. And I don't want to put too many wordings because I already have spring flowers, happy Easter, and spring there. So I think it's pretty much done. Maybe I'll do a little egg right about there. I think that that's too matchy matchy right there. Yep. I could just kind of tuck them in there. Nah. I'll save that one for something else. Maybe another. What about this one? Let's try this one. That's a little bit better. I'm going to put that little egg there. I'd actually be able to put that one on top. Nah. Okay, anyway, well, I'm really liking how it turned out. I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. This was a super fast and easy one to do, guys. And I hope you all have an amazing weekend. And we will see you next week. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be me or Monica, but definitely we will be here. So I hope you all have a great week, guys. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much for joining in. I so much appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, y'all.